Are you wondering about the new AWS Certified AI Practitioner exam? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Mike Gibbs, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the AWS Certified AI Practitioner Foundational Level Exam, also known as the AIF C01. So to begin, what is the, a, the AWS uh, AI practitioner all about? Well, it is a very basic, very intro level fundamental exam that's designed to teach you and be familiar with some of the AWS artificial and service, artificial intelligence services, some basic machine learning concepts as they relate to AWS. This is a foundational exam. The exam is about 90 minutes. It's basically multiple choice, multiple response questions. And the exam covers some basic, and I mean very basic artificial intelligence, uh, AI concepts. It covers some very basic use cases for AI and machine learning and business. It gives you a basic overview of some of the AWS branded uh, services like SageMaker, Recognition, those types of things. And basically it talks about responsible AI and uh, basic model fairness. So, you know, this is a nice intro level exam in some ways. Now the exam is designed to be a fundamentals exam. So let's see, does it cover it? Well, if we actually look at the AI practitioner as a fundamentals exam, it has a flaw. It kind of lacks all of the fundamentals you would actually care about. And I'll explain what I mean. So the exam is very superficial. It gives you a very nice high level vocabulary overview of AI. So a little bit of vocabulary that you learn in there, a little bit of jargon that you learn in there, but it's not for a technical professional. It's not for a technical practitioner. That's the, not the intention of this exam. The exam just doesn't have any technical depth. So, there's nothing that you could use in this exam to truly build a career for it if your goal was to be, say, an engineer, or if your goal was to, say, be an architect, or if your goal was to be in any field where you're going to be actually doing most of the work or even planning the work. The exam really lacks the key things like understanding the various algorithms and how data could be say, pre-processed or how you would select the model or the types of parameters you would use in your training or how you would evaluate a model or even deployment pipelines or anything that we would really need to know from a tech perspective is not there. And it lacks real world context because it doesn't really explain how these AI systems actually work in an enterprise environment. So it lacks that systems context. There's really no discussion of the technical components that are needed from a depth perspective that you would need to do the job. It doesn't really talk about the underlying technology. It misses the major components of AI systems. You're not gonna get any real knowledge, for example, on supervised and unsupervised type learning or, or natural language processing or computer vision or really anything you would need to know from an AI career perspective. It lacks any kind of depth as you would talk about the tooling or the technology things like where you would do your compute, like on a GPU, for example, et cetera. So it's missing that. Now, it is a vocabulary driven exam and this exam does have merit for some people. Let's say you were a sales rep working for IBM and tech sales, and now you want a job at AWS and tech sales. Well, this is perfect for the sales rep, the sales rep that really needs to know what the AWS products are and what you would actually call it. So this is a beautiful exam for a sales rep, someone that really knows how to do technical sales, someone that's been in technical sales for a while and is either working, say, at AWS or working somewhere, maybe a value-added reseller where they're trying to sell AWS services. So it is beautiful for, say, a sales rep. It is beautiful for people that already are very familiar and now they just want to learn the AWS terms to something they already know. However, it is really too basic to be meaningful for anyone in a technical world. Now, I can say there's not a lot of real uh, AI certifications out there, or machine learning certifications. There's very few. So if your resume really lacks something, you could consider it. But I think there's much better certifications that you can use that would be much more beneficial to you, that would most likely be much worth much more of your time. So as it stands now, I generally don't recommend the 
AWS AI, AI practitioner exam unless we're dealing with a sales rep. Now, if you'd like to become a cloud architect or an AI architect or a security architect or an enterprise architect or rarely any other kind of architect, we hold a completely free architecture webinar one to two times per week where we'll cover what we do in say various roles like a cloud architect versus a security architect. We'll talk about every skill you need to be hired and we'll talk about everything you need to do to stand out and build your brand and get people to come to you so you can build that great architecture career. You can register for this free architecture webinar. The link is in the description of this video. And while you're on these architecture webinars, you can ask me any kind of architect career question you have about a cloud architect career, AI architect career, you can ask me to evaluate your resume, test you to see if you're ready to be hired right before you go on, say, an enterprise architect interview or a solutions architect interview, and I'll do what I can to help you. Again, you can register for this in the description below. While you're in the description of the video, we've got lots of free resources to help you, resources on, how, say, how to pass the interview, resources on the skills you need to become, say, a cloud architect or something else. So check out those free resources. Sign up for some. They'll be emailed to you, and I know they'll help you in your cloud architect, enterprise architect type career. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your solutions architect, cloud architect, AI architect, or security architect career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I hope to see you soon in a webinar or another video. Take care.